Hello, YouTube. Here I go with the third installment of the Captain Marvel Adventures number 11. As you can see, I have the cover set up, ready to clean and to remove the tape. The cover is surrounded by various tools I use that I discussed in the past with prior uploads. One tool that is present that I did not discuss is the emery board used for manicuring nails, which is on the left next to my brush. That is a good tool to have in your arsenal if you use white erasers, because what I do is I use the emery board and I file down the white eraser when the eraser gets dirty. Any of you who clean your own comics know that the white erasers will develop darkness on it or even black ink and things of that nature from the dirt. So it's always good to file it down to get to the white eraser so you don't smudge black on the cover or dirt. Here's another close-up of the picture. As you can see, it's in pretty rough shape, the cover, but we're going to make it look better. This is the interior of the cover. As you can see, there are pieces missing and there is quite amount of tape that is on the cover on the interior that a prior owner put on. That's always a good thing to put tape on the interior. Here is a picture of the tape on Captain Marvel Avenger Jr.'s head. Here is more tape on the right or the left cover. As you can see, it's quite extensive. Here is another close-up of the tape that is on the cover. So the way I started to remove this is a combination of heat and Bestine solvent. I did not soak this cover because it was very brittle and weak. So what I first do is I heat up the tape with my tack iron, making it nice and warm, hopefully to loosen up the adhesive a little bit. Then what I do is I use my small artist paintbrush and I soak the taped area with Bestine solvent. As you can see, it starts to lift up nicely. Here is a photo of the tape peeling off. On the right portion of the tape, you can see there is some color lifting from the cover. Sometimes it's very difficult to prevent this. Here is another picture of the tape curling up. The tape came off quite well. Uh, thankfully, the prior owner used some form of archival tape, so it was not scotch tape. So here is a picture of the cover on top of Rame paper getting ready for the aqueous bath. I removed all the tape, and now what I want to do is I want to soak the cover in a combination of methyl cellulose and calcium hydroxide in order to try to clean it. As well as cleaning, I want to deacidify the cover. The methyl cellulose is a strengthening agent for the book to make it more agile. Here is a picture of the interior of the cover. As you can see, the tape removal was pretty successful with minimum color loss. So I'm proud with this method of how I removed the tape and it turned out pretty well in the majority of the spots. The next thing that I did, as you can see with the series of pictures to follow, is that I put the cover in the aqueous bath with the chemicals and a small amount of detergent in order to clean the cover. I weighted the screens down with a filled water bottle so the screen and cover does not float up to the top of the tub. Here is a picture of the book taking out of the aqueous bath. You can see the color of the water in the tub is quite dark. That is, in my opinion, the acidity being drawn out of the book as well as many years of dirt. Here is a close-up of the water that was in the tub. The picture does not lie. It definitely is darker and the cover cleaned up pretty well. After the cover was dried after being pressed in my 
glass pieces I individually pressed with my hand iron each side of the cover. Unfortunately, the tape was holding the cover together, so it became a split cover as you can see. Then what I did is I pressed each individual half of the cover in my hand press in addition to using my hand iron. Here is a picture of the cover sandwiched between my parchment paper that I use from Costco. Here is a picture of the back cover where I am hand ironing the portion of the cover and I'm trying to smooth out the wrinkles and the creases that were embedded in this cover over years and years. Here is a, the remains of the back cover and a lot of the pieces are missing and my goal is going to be to leaf cast the entirety of this cover so that these sections are filled in. So I am going to fill in the bottom of the back cover just to preserve the book and to try to shoot for a conserved grade. Here is another picture of the front cover weighted after it was pressed with my glass pieces and then here you go with the back cover being pressed as well so that's it for this upload youtube take care and thanks for stopping by